Hi, this is Don at Cowboy Biker Adventures coming to you from Colonial Williamsburg. This is the capital, or was the capital, for 75 years where Virginia, uh, Colonial Virginia business was taken care of. This is a 360 video, so you can move your view around, up, down, side, uh, left, right. Unfortunately, about three school groups are in front of us. So I'm gonna walk the main street here, which is the Duke of Glasgow, which I was told when I was at the Vista Center at the ticket office, the supervisor told me this is the only street I can do video on. All the rest I have to do still pictures. So I will do still pictures for the other streets. And uh, you can look at the architecture and, bu and buildings as I walk this. This should take me about 18 minutes to do. So, the sun is to our left, so be careful about sun flares. And, uh, looks like my audio is working. But, uh, I did a live earlier, about 30 minutes ago, walking the opposite direction on this street. Uh, but, uh, a live 360 of this street and then maybe a video from all the pictures from all the streets will do it. But, uh, Interesting architecture. And apparently they allow dogs. So feel free to look around. So you can read these signs. King Lar Tavern, the best foods. Okay. This is mainly a reproduction of it from accounts, and some of them will still stand when pictures were taken. Some are original buildings, most are not. But uh, pretty interesting. And it looks like to me they had a load of firewood delivered and they need to put it away. A lot of taverns uh, from the day, from the period. And that's what we just passed. But uh, let me tell you what I found out. I could have bought a ticket being a senior for, I think it was $53. I didn't end up buying a ticket. A ticket would have got me in some of these buildings and listened to the people talk, tell you about it but I couldn't film it, only take still pictures. So the brick house tavern there, I think that's cool. 16 good rooms for ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so from the visit center where I parked, I gave, give you a free bus ride here and back and uh, you don't have to have a ticket to walk the streets just to go in the buildings. So 
Sounds like to me a carriage is coming up. I decide not to buy a ticket. Now, I plan on doing another day, a half a day in Jamestown and another half day in Yorktown. You got to have tickets for those. That's a cool looking carriage. They did have class back then. Um, but uh, I will have to buy tickets when I go there. But I could have got a ticket, and it wasn't because of senior price, it's regular price, of a hundred and seventeen or nineteen dollars would give me a seven day pass to all three. The Colonial Triangle. And that is Colonial Williamsburg, where I'm at, and also Jamestown and Yorktown. So But I, I elected not to do it since I couldn't film it. And I don't know what they're going to allow me to film. Jamestown and York, Yorktown. But uh, we'll find out. This is a Friday. I think I'm going to wait till Monday since I don't leave the area till Wednesday. I'm at a thousand trails 10 miles away. Do that. That's cool. Call a thousand trails Williamsburg. No, lodging and tavern. And uh, anyhow, I didn't. Uh, I leave, I'm there seven days, so I'll leave Wednesday. So I think I'll do Jamestown and Yorktown Monday. I think this weekend is going to be really busy, most likely, because I think the weather's going to be nice. So I elected not to do that till Monday. Coming up on the right is the courthouse and you can see the stocks kids play with them can you imagine public ridicule it's what we do it might stop some stuff if we brought it back and then again it might not they just will film it and get famous on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok. For sure, TikTok. <laughs> and I do TikTok. I... Wow, that was loud. Apparently a canyon, a cannon went off. Uh, I put my shorts up on TikTok. But... Uh, when I go to bed, I play that Here comes another carriage. Isn't it? Oh, there you go. That's cool looking too. Look how they used to light the streets for, for light. Beautiful. Cool looking architecture. The sad truth is, I remember some of this stuff looking this way, or some houses looking this way back in the 60s. I think that's when colonial architecture was popular. You can't tell a whole lot of difference. But, uh, pretty neat. Give you a good look at it.
Apparently they have a show in there. These shows are scheduled. I think that's where you can buy tickets if you don't buy them at the Welcome Center. If you change your mind. This is called Queen Street, I believe. No, it's not either, sorry. This is Palace Green. Pretty neat, huh? Palace Green. Queen Street was before the courthouse. This church on the right is called Burton Palace. Uh, Burton Palace Church. No, Burton Parish Church, sorry. Look at this neat garden here. Burton Parish Church, sorry. I'll put the sign up. Can you see the headstones over there? I have to assume those are original uh, graves anyway. Don't know if the headstones have been replaced. That I don't know. See how we doing on time? We're 12 minutes in. I will stop at Market Square, the west end of the street. I started at the east end. They're repainting that one on the right. This is this is the carpet shop. And they do they're working up, up here. They must be getting ready for the holidays because the holidays is around the corner and they're putting a stage that covers the street up here. So a lot of construction or it was some kind of party company putting this up. And there it is. I think it's temporary. It sure looks temporary. Why well, they was putting it up in sections. That's the tailor shop right there. And I'm sure some of these don't take a ticket to go in because they, you know, not doing a show or telling you about it and all that good stuff, but I could be wrong. Okay, this is the West End. A gla of Duke Glass Caster Street. Public restrooms on the right. Straight ahead is several shops, places to eat. I actually had lunch at Metal Yellow, had a pizza earlier. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see adventure videos, 
at least once a week and shorts on weekends be sure to subscribe so until next time have a good one